Okay, so we colored our tree with either crayons or I used uh, Crepaz oil pastels. And I did put a couple of surprises in here because I am doing a winter tree and so I have snow. Notice my tree doesn't have any leaves on it. And remember, we're making letter Y's to make our tree branches and we want to show really good craftsmanship. So we want to make sure that our branches are colored in solid. And once you've done that, you've colored in all your branches because if you don't, the paint will cover them up. But here's the thing. We are going to use watercolors. And watercolor paints don't like oil. And they don't like wax either. Mine are kind of sad. But so you don't have to paint around your tree. You're going to be able to paint right over it. And we're going to paint it all the way down to the horizon line. That's the line where it looks like the sky meets the earth. So I'm going to do mine and I'm going to do, um, well, let's start with some blue. Okay, so tickle my brush with some blue, some brush on, water on my brush, and I'm going to just start dragging it across. And look at that. It's like magic because it doesn't stick to wherever my drawing is. So I'm just going to color it all the way down. Now, if you wanted to, you could do a sunset, so you could put other colors in your sky. I'm actually going to have mine come down a little bit purpley, so pretty soon I'm going to change my color. All right. I'll bring it down a little bit of purple as it fades down to the horizon line. all the way the whole background the background is the area behind your tree because this is a painting about the tree so we're painting the whole background all the way down to the bottom now notice i colored snow on the bottom of mine you could have colored green grass too but see the snow is repelling my watercolors because the snow was made with oil pastel and the oil and the water don't mix so they repel each other that's a science word. You'll talk about that more when you get into uh, second grade science. But for right now, it works as a magic for us in art, too. When we know that oil and water don't mix, if we make our drawing out of the right kind of supplies, it will repel it. And it also wax. So you're going to finish painting your sky all the way down to your horizon line. Let it dry, and then please take a picture and send it to me. I look forward to seeing your amazing pictures. Remember, also, um, you could have green grass and leaves on your tree, and you'll have a whole different picture, different seasons. Okay, so let's say you don't have watercolor paints available. What you can use is you can use washable markers and take a paper plate or any plate because it will wash off later and so you color in on your plate with your marker color whatever color you want to make your sky all right i'm going to go with some blue and purple again right so i'll put purple over here it doesn't look very purpley i'm saying okay so you color it in a little bit on the plate then you take your wet paintbrush and you can use any kind of paintbrush, literally, like a makeup brush would work. A Q-tip could work if you don't have any paintbrushes. You could use a Q-tip. And then what you do is you activate this with your wet brush. And look, it works the same. You can make paint out of the marker. So tickle it and drag it across. Tickle it and drag it across. And same thing, because it's water-based, it repels the crayon or the oil pastel. And then you just refill your paints. I'm going to try this blue this time. In some ways, this is better for me because I have more choices. I'm going to try this kind of blue now. And scribble it. Get my brush wet. I'm using a paintbrush, but you could use, if you don't have paintbrushes, other kinds of brushes. Okay. And drag it across. So there's other ways that you can do this, but it needs to be water-based in order for it to work.